Hi, welcome to a nice sunny day on Stanley Beach. Uh, this video is to just give more instructions about how to paddle when in a dragon boat, what to think about while you're paddling, and hopefully by the end of this you can look kind of like an expert. So the first thing to think about is how you're sitting down. When you're doing this, you want to make sure that your outside leg is going forward and your inside leg is going back. A good thing to do is to try to lock your knee against the side and usually there's a place that you can put your foot right. within the dragon boat. Now, a big thing to think about when you're dragon boating, a common mistake that a lot of people make is it's, they think it's like canoeing. So they get in the dragon boat, they just go forward like this, it's a nice leisurely time. Well, actually we need a lot of power within the dragon boat. So an important thing to remember are three main things here. One is that you're not using just your arms. You need to be using your waist, so bending forward. You need to have your arms forward, so you will be using your arms, but you need to be twisting. And what that means is that the torso, being able to twist forward, like this. So this is the starting position to every paddle. Your paddle starts and stops right here with every stroke. So just to review that again, what you'll be doing is you're going to lean forward, put your arms out, they're going to be fairly straight, and you're going to twist at the waist. So therefore, your back is going to be facing the water, and your chest will be facing what should be the person next to you right here. Alright? So as you go, you're going to start in the front, I'm going to go slow here, you're going to put your blade in the water, you're going to then lean back, bring the paddle back and you're going to be slightly using your arms but most of the muscle that you're going to be using most of the power you're going to be getting is actually from your torso and your lower back leaning forward once again you're going to be putting your paddle in the water leaning back and twisting at the same time forward lean back forward lean back forward lean back forward, lean back. Just like that. So as you see, the most important aspect of this is that you are leaning forward. Twisting is good. You start to look more like a pro that way. But the one thing you don't want to do is just be st sitting upright and using your arms the whole time like this. Men like to do this. Women are very good at using their full body. Men like to just use their arms, show how masculine they are, how much muscle they have. And within about 15 strokes, they're dead definitely 15 minutes, they won't be paddling anymore. So it's very important using your core. Now, when we're in a dragon boat, usually there's roughly about 18 people in here. That can equate to roughly about 2,000 pounds within the boat at any one time. What's extremely important is that the team works together, that the team is putting their paddle in together and paddling at the same time. Now this is led from the front of the boat. There's a two people at the front, and they're gonna be the strokes at the front of the boat right here. What's important is that the people sitting back are putting their paddles in the water at the same time that the people in the front are putting their, their paddles in the water. How it should work is that you're gonna either watch the person directly in front of you or to the side or in front and across from you, or you can look two rows ahead of you, just so you can know you're staying together. So what you don't wanna do is have your head down Paddling hard like this, and not be able to see the people in front of you. Mm. Always make sure you have your head up, looking at the people in front of you as you're paddling. All right. All right. So just to review, most important things about paddling: one is that you have your arms fairly straight. All right. You're leaning forward. You're twisting. Your paddle starts here. The stroke. Put paddle in the water. Back. Back up again. Paddle in the water. Back snap forward again. If we want to look at what the pace would commonly be like in a dragon boat as you're racing, not at the not at the racing start, but in the middle of the race, it's going to be about like this. Ooh, look at the waves. So not too fast, but it's just fast enough to keep everyone together. I hope this is helpful for you and we look forward to having you on the dragon boat. Thank you.